PhotoGo secures the Photos app using Touch ID. After installing PhotoGo, you'll find a new preference panel in the Stock Settings app. So we're going to find that here. Here it is, PhotoGo Settings. And you can also set it up so that you need to authenticate with Touch ID before even accessing the settings, just like that. All right, so now you'll find several different sections for PhotoGo. At the top, you have a, a basic kill switch. You have the Protect Settings panel option. And then you have under that Protect Files. Now, Protect Files will basically prevent images and videos from being deleted uh, from your camera app or from the Photos app, I should say. And um, you can switch that on or off and it'll actually ask you to verify with Touch ID before performing any deletions. Then you have protect deleted files. So once you actually delete files, if you go to the deleted files folder, you can protect files from being permanently deleted or protect them from being recovered. And of course, again, you'll have to authenticate with Touch ID. Then there's the protect camera option. And that option allows you to protect the shortcut to access the taken photos and videos through the stock camera app. So you can still actually access the camera app without authenticating, but you can't tap the little shortcut uh, to take you to to the photos and videos. Then there's also protect albums and protect sharing. So now I'm just going to show you a few examples of how PhotoGo works and actually protecting you here. So let's first of all launch the photos app and I'm going to try to delete a couple of photos or screenshots in this case. Now I've selected the photos here. I'm going to tap the delete button in the bottom right hand corner just like this and before I can actually tap delete three photos guess what pops up well touch ID so I need to authenticate with the fingerprints that I have registered with touch ID so I'm going to do that right now and I have and now you can actually tap the three delete three photos option uh, now there's one little complaint I have with this method I wish I wish there was an option that would outright delete the photos once I authenticate with Touch ID because basically you're adding a whole additional step in, in the mix here. Uh, so normally you would just hit the delete button and tap delete photos, but now you have to tap the delete button, then you have to verify with Touch ID, and then you have to tap the de delete three photos or however many photos you're deleting. So that's just an extra step that this adds, but if you're looking for security, uh, that probably won't bother you. Now let me show you something else. If I go to albums here, and I just open an album, or if I just want to open an album, for instance, the recently deleted album, yeah, I have to authenticate because we have the albums switch enabled in the preferences for Photogo. So I want to verify there. Now I'm in that album and say I wanted to delete a couple of these. I'm going to tap the delete button in the bottom left hand corner. Guess what? Yes, I have to actually verify with Touch ID before I can actually permanently delete those and say I wanted to recover these photos. Well, guess what? Same thing. I have to actually uh, verify with Touch ID before I recover those and put them back in my photos listing there. Um, let's see, what else do we have here? There's another option. If you go to the camera app, like I was saying earlier, and you want to go to the shortcut for the photos that you've taken. So say I take a photo here. I'm going to do that right now. All right, and I want to access that photo. I just tap the little shortcut button in the bottom left-hand corner. But guess what? I need to authenticate with Touch ID before I can access that. All right, so so those are some of the features that you'll find in Photogo, or I guess you could pronounce it Fotigo, I guess, or however you want to pronounce it. It is a jailbreak tweak that's available right now on Cydia's Big Boss Repo, and it is 99 cents. If you want to try it out, head over to Cydia's Big Boss Repo, download it today. It does require iOS 8 and a device with Touch ID capability, so that means you need an iPhone 5S, an iPhone 6, or 6 Plus. It is Photogo or Fotigo, however you want to pronounce it, and it allows you to better secure the photos in the Stock Photos app. Let me know what you guys think about this tweak in the comment section down below. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.